Next upgrade, but question, why is this an upgrade instead of just a fiend you always have? I, I don't know. <laughs> Probably because dark caves is more at atmospheric and it makes more sense that you wouldn't be able to see super far without a flashlight, and you don't have a flashlight. Alright, well, gee. We can take basically the exact same band that we had. But now we can do the other cave. Alright, we got five. So now we're going to do the 20 of everybody. Get away from that. Alright, we're going to do 20 of each type of Pikmin, then we're going to the other cave. Wow, we have 80 purple Pikmin. That's awesome. Let's make our environments dark and manky. <laughs> That's such a good way to put it, Nintendo Attic. Yeah, you're, you're kind of right. You have a point. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind the solar system being an upgrade that you have to get later on. But, I mean, it would be nice to have it right to begin with. But also, it would be nice if all of the upgrades you had right to begin with. But then that wouldn't be as, uh... I don't want to say that wouldn't be as fun, but... I think part of the game is, like, your space explorers that are exploring the planet. And kind of using the, its natural resources to your advantage. And using that in the form of upgrades makes sense, I think. Alright, yeah. So we're going up here. Fried butts. I've never had them, but hey. Maybe they're a delicacy in certain parts of the world. Oh, no. Kill this guy before he gets rid of all of our flowers. Murder him, murder him, murder him. Don't let him take all of our flowers away. <laughs> Alright, good. We still have him. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, rump roast is delicious. Yet another cave discovered. Venturing to the farthest reaches has proven rewarding. You may be tired of walking, but just one last leap remains. Now go get that treasure. It's, there's still free after this. I, I I like rump roast, but I don't fry it. All right, we're entering the frontier cavern. This one will probably be worse. But here we go. I am I'm greatly dreading this dungeon. I'm especially dreading the boss of this dungeon. Probably is going to be the toughest boss in the game to do no deaths. Welcome to the frontier cavern, sub level one. I love the theming of this cavern. It's like a Christmas cave, but, uh, oof. This is gonna be a tough one. Kill that guy. I'm not losing Pikmin to a snowy bulborb. Oh, hey! It's, it's a doodle bug. These are the poisonous, uh... Basically, the poisonous stink bugs. Where are they? Okay. I'm gonna throw some purple Pikmin at it. If you throw enough, if you throw enough Pikmin on top of the doodle bug, it'll drop bitter sprays for you, which is great. Look at that. Love the music in this dungeon, too. I do have this in my randomizer's music playlist. <laughs> what do I consider the hardest boss? The boss of this dungeon. No spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen it yet. Hard. This is gonna... Well, I consider this to be the hardest to do no deaths. But the hardest boss overall is probably the final boss. If you're not prepared for it. 13 bitter sprays. Look out, world, here comes Artie. With a vengeance. Yummy, 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 I've got bugs in my tummy. Yeah, I've been told in the, in the YouTube comments by someone who knows the game better than I do that this dungeon is the best dungeon in the game to grind bitter sprays. Or it's the best place in the game to grind bitter sprays because there's a doodle bug on the first sub-level that gives you four bitter sprays. Okay. Ah, no! There's another doodle bug, actually. Oh no! He's woken up! He's angry! <laughs> 
Snow Bulwarps go back, or Harry Bulwarps go back to sleep, right? <laughs> you don't, you don't want to know what that's from. Oh no, is he not going back to sleep? Okay, no, he is. Ah, no! That doodle bug just appears out of nowhere. Where'd he go? Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh! No, kill him before he eats... Did the doodle bug just disappear, or did he vanish again, but will reappear when I move to a certain area? Oh, hey! White penguin have found something. Harry, I think you started something. Ooh! It's a Christmas ornament. Oh, it's like the disco ball ornament that my family has. Oh, it's great. Okay, this, man, the hairy bulborbs are in annoying places here. Okay, no, I don't trust this. I think the doodle bug is still hiding somewhere. Maybe not? Oh, um, what are you doing? What the heck? Those two, those pigmen were... I didn't even tell them to go that way. I told them to swarm the other one, and they're like, Oh, you want us to wake up this guy and get eaten? Sure thing, boss. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yes. Yes, Miss Hero, you are correct with what that reference was a reference to. Yep. <laughs> I didn't say you didn't want to know because it was from something dirty. I said you don't want to know because it's from something dumb. <laughs> and I didn't want people to know that I had seen it on TV. Okay. Let's try this again. Would you kindly not die to poison? I would appreciate that. Maybe the doodle bug just disappears after two hits. Hack! Where's the last one? Cool. There we go. More bitter sprays. Come on. Move. The foliage looks nice, but it makes it hard to see where I'm going. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I didn't... Here's the vein. I didn't even really watch the Timon and Pumbaa show, but I saw commercials for it, and they would include that song in the commercials. So, that's really what I know it from. <laughs> I never actually saw the show. But, oh yeah, but there were some 90s cartoons that were great. New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh? Still one of the best uh, kid shows ever. Incredibly well done show. Ah, there's another doodle bug. Oh, 
Wow. More bitter sprays. This must be my lucky day! <laughs> wow, yeah, this is definitely the best place to grind up bitter sprays. But I also think the boss of this dungeon is one boss that the bitter sprays really won't help much for. You consider the Wraith to be the hardest... I guess that depends. Are you When you say the Wraith, are you counting go, dealing with the Wraith for the entire dungeon or just the boss fight at the end? Because if you are if you count dealing the Wraith for the entire dungeon, then yeah, I might agree with that if you're not good at going fast. But if you're just talking about the battle at the end and that's generally what I refer to, then it's not that difficult. Every, everybody, everybody here. That was way too close. I don't know why none of my guys insta killed that snowball ward when we were throwing stuff on him. Excuse me, you're supposed to crush him and kill him in one hit. Excuse me, can you please kill him? <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, keep keep digging, keep digging. That would that would be a decent one, uh Simpsons are us. Again, it take it takes a lot of it takes a lot for me to add a new sound alert cuz again, I don't want to overwhelm people, but that's definitely an option. All right, now we finally get our treasure. Ooh, that's pretty. The essence of rage? <laughs> are, are you are you trying to tell me something, game? <laughs> They're, oh, he's gonna need this one, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah, that that would definitely be a good one to add, though. I will I will heavily consider that. I think there are a lot of treasures here that are buried underground that need the white Pikmin. So yep, here, here's the Disco Ball Christmas ornament. Anything in there? Nope. Alright. Like, Frontier Cavern is simultaneously my favorite dungeon in the game because it's so well-themed, and also my least favorite dungeon in the game because it's so freaking hard. Well, it's, de it's definitely not my least favorite. The ones in Wistful Wild are a lot worse. Essential furnishing, yes. It doesn't, like, bed, chair, couch, a table, nah, that's all secondary. But a disco ball Christmas ornament, that is essential. You need that. I never thought I'd see the day that I have more than double the bitter sprays than I do the spicy sprays. I normally have, like, so many spicy sprays that I don't know what to do with them all. But I've been using them a lot more in this No Deaths run. <laughs> Especially in the submerged castle. Frontier Cavern, sub level 2. Is this the floor that has all the bumbling snitch bugs? I hope not. I think that's sub level like 3 or 4. Alright. Oh! Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Talk about a rude awakening. No! Rats, I was really hoping that he would kill himself. Or I could trick him into shooting himself with his boulder breath. Oh well, plan B. Purple Pikmin. No. Everybody out of the way! Okay, I'm very surprised we didn't die from that. But I will take it. Thank you, God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Okay, this this is giving me heavy vibes of the Coliseum, which is that one multiplayer match. Oh yeah. 
Oh, it's a present! Oh, that's so nice! <laughs> Don't think I haven't wanted to do that, Miss Hero. <laughs> of course, first we need to save Louie in order to get Louie's cooking notes. Wait, did the... Wait, where did the... Did he run all the way over here? Okay. Fire a boulder this way. I would love to redirect it your way. <laughs> the boulder is stuck! What is with this game and being like, Oh no, a two degree incline. I can't go up that. There we go. Oh, I don't think I would want to try that. Not a fan of eggplant. Purple Pikmin, you're slipping a little bit. You're supposed to have that homing land, and uh, you haven't been doing that great of a job of it. Alright, well this sub-level wasn't too bad. We had a couple near misses with the boulders, but that's fine. Alright. Santa wants us to bring the present back, so we're gonna do that. Oh, oh, oh! Merry Pikmin 2! Yeah, this, this, this really reminds me of the Colosseum multiplayer level. Like, the same enemies, same layout. Hmm, that's a good question. Alright, 60 Pocos, the Joy Receptacle. Aww. That's so, that's so nice. What do I consider the hardest dungeon in... Are you insane, in this game? Uh, definitely one of the ones in Wistful Wild. Probably the Hole of Heroes. That's, the Hole of Heroes is the one I'm dreading the most. I, I know it's waiting for me there. Oh, it's a nice little booty! Stocking, the icon of progress? <laughs> you know that we're making progress when we have stockings in our house. And we can leave that corpse behind, that's fine. Alright, here we go. That did look like a nice Christmas stocking. I think the Hole of Heroes is going to be the toughest one for no deaths, but the final dungeon is going to be the toughest one casually. Frontier Cavern, sub-level 3. Okay, I think this is the level that has all the Wivering Bullhogs and Bumbling Snitch Blood Bugs. This is going to be nasty. I love, I love the design of it. I love the, like, you're in the snow with the bricks around. It, it's very nice. But I hate the actual content of this dungeon. Oh, hey! Nectar! Ah! Oh, wait, what am I... What am I worried about? <laughs> this is why we have bitter sprays. Can I... It, it literally would not let me switch to my purple pigment. That was weird. Wow! I did not expect to die to the dwarf bull bears, but alright. Did we run over a skunk? <laughs> well, I mean, there were there were no doodle bugs on that level. <laughs> alright. We had we had to reset. That's that's understandable. I forgot about the bull bear there. It's been a while since we've seen the bull bear. We haven't seen him since Glutton's Kitchen. Oh! There he is!
Oh boy, and there's Bulbman as well. But the Bulbman, because we have 100 Pikmin, won't have any actual mini Bulbman with him. I think the main problem with the bull bear is like the little bull bears that follow him. Are are you stuck on a two degree incline as well, buddy? Cool, cool. Jingle bells, jingle bells, you are going away. Yep. Oh yeah, I remember that scene. I remember that scene in Simpsons R Us. I knew exactly what you were talking about. Dashing through the snow with a dangerous danger chime. <laughs> I ha I have beat Pikmin Free. It is very good. I would say Pikmin Free is probably the best of the Pikmin games. Although I might still like Pikmin 2 a little more for nostalgia's sake. But Pikmin Free is definitely a better game. It's very, very well done. Okay. Oh, no! Emergency bitter spray. Oh hey! They drop a spicy spray. I was not expecting to get ambushed by a little bull bear. Quick think and save the day. We scared that beast away with just a squeak or two from Robert Ducky. <laughs> Man, with all these narrow corridors... Ah! Get back here, get back here, get back here. They're all dead now, you don't have to worry. Okay, Mr. Boldman is coming down this way. Hopefully we can stun him. Yes! Oh my gosh. Where would we be without Purple Pikmin? In a lot of trouble, that's where. I can feel green on more days than just St. Patrick's Day. Again, it's not St. Patrick's Day Artie that's my profile picture. It's Happy Artie that's my profile picture. Is that a candle? That's a candle. Beautiful. Hey, Dusk. Nice to see ya. Thanks for stopping by to say hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Pikmin is a, a rather frightening game, if you have looked at from the perspective of the Pikmin. Or even Olar and Louie, with how small they are. The fleeting art form. That's... You know, I could see that being at one of those dumb modern art galleries, where it's like, it's, it's a candle burning. It is high art. It's like, no, it's not. You're saying nothing. <laughs> Look, it's broken cracker on a plate. It's like, okay. How does that show any kind of artistic skill? Man, the game just loves throwing the geysers at you at this point. Not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just pointing it out. We're seeing a lot more geysers now in these later dungeons than we did in the earlier ones. Is there part of the dungeon we haven't explored yet? There must be a treasure buried in the snow somewhere. Because we've killed all the enemies. Uh-oh, one of our Pikmin got left behind. That's okay, he'll follow us to the next floor when we get there. Hmm. Oh, 
I was not expecting there to be something buried where there were eggs. Ooh, a rain! Oh, how grand. Ah, I love electricity. <laughs> it wouldn't be... I mean, theoretically, it's not impossible to do without resetting, but, like, I don't... <laughs> I wouldn't want to be the human that would have to do that. 100 Pocos, the Gemstar Husband. Um, okay. <laughs> that's a that's a fancy wedding ring if that's the case. Delve a little deeper. 